stream. We like to start as always. Oh, this has no lands that I that I <laughs> that have any color. So I'm gonna ship this. This seems fine. We want to scry. Bolt, I like it. If we're against an aggro strike we and we have two bolts and lightning helix and snapcaster. It's probably lights out. Or a good fundament you could say we can build on. Same pop lands. Okay, Tron probably one of the few decks where bolts and lightning helix are not that strong. So we care about no No life totals and just try to raise them. I fetched all the way, okay. Probably go end of turn, fetch shock, lightning hills of his face. And yes, natural throne. Awesome. We play some okay, he yeah, so the map. Just gonna fetch shock here again, just to lightning helix him. We want. Do we want Hollow Fountain or Sacred Foundry? I think we want Hollow Fountain. Then probably next turn Karn is coming. Let's hope that we hit a land, then maybe we can go. Uh, we go Plate Splicer. And if he goes Karn, he can exile the land, but we can kill it. He gets a tower. And different artworks too, man. Come on. Let's be real now. Come on, land. Another Lightning Bolt. Doesn't really help. So now we probably get Karn and just lose the game. We could do though is tap all our mana and if he brings in the faults, if he exiles the false land, then we can maybe shoot Karn down. Oblivion Stone is fine by me. If he's mana leak, chromatic star is also fine. So he has no real threat. Maybe he feels the counter. Mm, Path to access is really good. Missing a land is not good. He's at 11, I can bolt him. I don't know. Can snapcast a bolt, that's 6 damage. Something tells me that he is just putting lands into play, putting lands into play, and then we get Emra cooled. But this happens. hair looks awesomely bad because I came fresh from the shower. There's a warm call engine which is okay. We have a path for that. Karn is worse. Could go snapcaster but I want to have more value from the snapcaster though. Still free mana. He goes servants crying. Draw no interaction whatsoever. Draw is a really hard matchup for this deck, I think. So I can path and bolt here. And even if I rip a land, then just blade splicer isn't enough. You just blow up those down. 
Do we just play Snapcaster? Probably. I'm all out for the mana efficient plan. Colonnade. Well, that's a tap land. No. No, he probably ta turns the tide. And this is already 10 mana. Yeah. I'll place the new Ola mark for me. Oh, the snow exalts. Yeah, it seems fine. Flash freeze? Do we want flash freeze? I think so. Now flash freeze, we can counter the stuff. <laughs> He can counter his, uh, his searching tools soon, scrying and stuff. Disperse probably not good. Could run boil though, but I don't think so. Get rid of this. Cut two blades, plus so I want instant speed interaction. Maybe cut one helix. Oh, I cut. One mana leak. This has mana leak, but nothing else. So I'm tempted to ship this because we have so light action. On the other hand, what what do we want in our opening hand? We can defend turn three Karn, but from that on, we can at some point play an angel and then attack him. I think there are six card hands. Which are better with something like this. When the link clicks, totally fine because we can take Karn away. Let's place Demons tapped. This can play a Sonic Sword. Snowing salt should be enough to keep kicking. And he has a slow start. Kept the 7 down. Um, now we play Arid Mesa. Get a white source. Oh man. Layout is fucked up. Let's see. Sorry. Well, we can see the phases better. Oh, uh, let's fetch. Probably a hollow fun. No, we click him in his draw step. See what he has. Bum bum ba dum. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Could just click him end of turn. Skip through the phases, though. So otherwise, I would click them. Kind of now. And click is good clock. Let's see what we are working with here. Now our next turn I can just go untap. What's this guy? So many zones growing. Um, let's go. Your turn.
If he kills the tower, then he's so far off drawn. Can Sylvan's crying each turn, but okay. Can't play a tower this turn, right? So not that good working. So no, again, let's go. Let's see how Tron deals with this. Feels good to be on the other side at, at some time point. Just to salt some people. And he has no ghost caller. One play against this is. Um, so he has two Karn. Defense grid is his sideboard card. More defense grids. He has four defense grids. Yeah, for real. And like a deck of all kinds. Okay, let's take those two towers. And they are exiled, so now we go to our turn. Now he has to have a stone here to survive the Beldenian click beats. And yeah, he's not playing it this turn and I can mana leak his next play. If he finds a wound curl engine and resolve it at some point I'm gonna path. Then I have lightning bolt to speed up the clock, I think. That's the way you to beat this deck. Bum bum bum, come on, boy. Where are all my towers? They are gone. They are gone, man. He's running 20 lands, so. Now he has 16. If we kill. 3 more, 4 more. Then he can't even hard cast the stuff. So I mean, Marcoul and stuff. There we go, there is another mine. Which is fine. Well, if you draw a snapcast, also you can speed up the clock with Colonnade. We are worried about. What are we worried about? Stones, probably. I think you can argue for cutting some paths. So it's crying, it's playing around Malik, that's fine. Can really deal with that. It's a non basic land, right? Target non basic from the game, bop bop. More growth of the burn balloons, then he's up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can have your expedition up there, oh, hardly, hardly doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five. You can have six mana next turn. So if I draw a land here, I can activate safely Colonnade. And I do a lightning helix, which is also fine. But I rather draw a land.
I'm interested what what he's going to do. Um, look up defense grid. That's one call engine. Which is okay, I can path that end of turn. Do I path it now? Mm. Can path it. Then he gets one extra land. If I rip a land, I can activate Colonnade. Can't hold up mana leak. Yeah. Oh, he's dead anyway. So it's just lightning helix attack with the click, and he's dead. dead man. So, okay. Let's see. Think we want. Oh, stony silence. Huh. I kind of missed that we have that. Okay, we want stony silence. That's pretty good. I think I cut one path and even one more blade splicer I think I have to cut and this guy yeah kind of want to have more hard counters in this matchup so now let's see what he can do on the plane this is a one lander, can't really keep that, even though I have spell snare and if he goes... That's only lands on spell snare, oh, we have to keep that. Don't want to draw land. He goes draw land land uh, map, next turn draw land map. We are in terrible shape. If he goes chromatic sphere, and then... Um, Play Siren's Crying, we are in good shape because we can spell snare that. Come on, something relevant. Another colonnade is nothing like that. <laughs> now he has Siren's Crying. green, then go seven scrying, I'm gonna spell snap up, hope that he doesn't hit the tower. Yeah, it's predicted. Sometimes they break from here, which is pretty nice. And sometimes the stack is pretty resilient, pretty consistent and that what it does. And that's Searching, drawing, and resolving bombs. So, drawing. Come on, man. I think I go mountain. Stony silence would be really nice here. And just go untap land to represent a counter, and he has, <laughs> has another. Yeah. This is what this deck does, like, there are so many ways to search up stuff, and he will have to draw next turn, and I have no pressure on the board and so on, pretty far behind. Scratch would be nice here. Ball to your face. So I kind of have to mulligan into into uh, cards that really matter. Or I have to run more, or this deck has to run more land destruction. <laughs> One turn too late, buddy. Um, this one. Please, no bomb. Fans crit is fine. How many mana does he la have lost? He has enough. Okay, one card engine I can live with. I can draw all of this. Can draw a, car a path. 
So now I can go untap salt this, this tower probably. Yes, Resto Angel. Salt is tower. There's another one kill engine done. One, two, three. And this shows you again the power of being on the draw and on the plane. So if I draw a path here, I'm in, in fine shape. And I have four I can draw. I'm not sure I can do what I need to do. The defense critter is a bit annoying, but. Here's another stone in hand, right? Also, hitting me for six lifelink is, is a clock. It's in fact a free turn clock, and he gains the life, and my plan is pretty much to burn him out. Come on, Path, you can do it. Late splice out for you, nice, also. It's calling time. You can loot that away, right? Let's see. Can fetch. Send out our deck. Probably fetch in basic island. And then we just. Loot away one colonnade. Have to draw a path. What is it doing? Come on, and I draw another colonnade. <laughs> Ridiculous! Sometimes. But that's magic for you. Sometimes you draw lands, and sometimes you draw spells. Skyler has a Brazilian flag, I don't know if it's because he's from Brazil, but he's pretty slow in his plays and stuff. I had 19 minutes, he's at 9. Yeah. Red, green, not the hardest deck on the earth. Make, you make your left drops, then you play your bombs. Next turn I can block with the angel. If I don't find a path. What else can I do? Do all the things. Oh yeah. Okay. He plays the stone. Even if I play a play a blocker, he can't blow it up. Probably the tongs kill me then. <laughs> the funny thing is, I could play, like shock myself, go snapcaster, and then flashback. Salt on a power plant. Kind of like this idea. Then he blows everything up. I'm left with. Can activate colonnade. But die to, s to stuff. So I st still just play next turn. But I don't die to talking, so I've shot myself. So I play a second colonnade. Play the angel here. And so leave one white mana open. I can't. Okay. So the problem is 
If he doesn't blow up the stone. <sighs> Sometimes I'm so annoyed by people playing so slowly, like just go to attacks. What what are you going to hope to draw? Like I don't understand. I can just do the stuff everything in the second main. To sure. Bum bum bottom bum bum bottom bum bum Hopefully we get a better matchup after this. And after this we're gonna play the Grexus list and that's about it for the YouTube exclusive the last match from the deck I was suggested on YouTube. I'm going to stream. Yeah, sure. Can I please draw a path now? Next turn that would be awesome. Or more jump blockers. Do I win by drawing jump blockers? I don't know. Here's a kind of lightning helix. That doesn't really help. I can loot. But I like going Snapcaster. Flashback sword. <laughs> Just to uh, get him on sour. Sword. There's another one curl engine and the other mark. Maybe I win by milling. <laughs> that is tough. Could argue about holding this and just cut it to the loot house, but gonna keep it. So I'm buying turn lands left and right. He puts up more fate counters, which is reasonable. He sacrificed the stone. Okay, I'm and I'm dead. Yeah, that was. That was a misplay. GG's. Okay.